Today we are introducing King Wen's Easy Dock 2 Dual Bay Super Speed 3.0 Standalone Duplicator Docking Station, model number EZD 2536U3. The Easy Dock 2 features multiple mode settings including RAID 1, RAID 0, JBOD, BIG, and Clone. And today we will be demonstrating how to use the Clone feature. First, I want to briefly go over the docking station itself. As you can see, on the top of your station, each bay is marked 1 and 2. Bay number 1 is where your source hard drive will be inserted. This is the drive with the information you will be cloning. And bay number 2 is where your destination hard drive will go. Keep in mind that the destination hard drive needs to be the same or greater in capacity than the source drive in bay number one. At the front of your docking station, you will see three LED lights. The power LED indicates whether your docking station is on or off. And the other two lights will indicate the access of each hard disk in bay one or two. Taking a look at the back of your docking station, note the four distinct ports and switches. The power switch turns your docking station on and off. DC in is where you will plug the power adapter that is included with the Easy Dock 2. This red jumper here, called Mode Setting, is where you adjust the switches to the correct mode you will be working in. If the switch is up, it means on, and if it is down, it's in the off position. On the very left is the USB port for connection with the USB 3.0 or 2.0 port on your laptop or desktop PC. If you are plugging into a USB 2.0 port on your PC, keep in mind that it will only work at 2.0 speed. Before we begin the demonstration, make sure that your destination drive is formatted on your computer before starting the cloning process. If you need instructions on how to format your destination drive, a PDF guide is provided on our website at www.kingwin.com. Click the support tab at the top, scroll down and click the frequently asked questions section. Go ahead and click the external enclosure category and scroll down to the very bottom of the page. There will be a link to view the HDD formatting guide in PDF format. Now, to begin cloning, make sure your docking station is off. Because the Easy Dock 2 is a standalone duplicator, no cords or plugs need to be connected to your PC at this time. Switch the jumper on the back to the JBOD setting as indicated in your product manual to off, off, and on, like so. After you set the docking station to the correct setting, insert your source hard drive into bay number one. And your destination hard drive into bay number two. Plug the power adapter into your docking station and outlet, and then turn the power on. The three LED lights on the front will blink once, then turn solid. When the hard disk access one light starts blinking, switch the number three tab on your jumper to off. This will begin the actual cloning process and HDD1 access LED will blink. When the HDD1 LED stops blinking, that means the cloning process is 50% complete and hard disk 2 access LED will begin to blink. Once the HDD2 LED stops blinking, then the cloning process is 100% complete. At this time, power off your docking station. You can now connect the USB 3.0 cord to the docking station as well as your PC. Now 
Now, on your laptop or desktop PC, open up My Computer and you will see both the source hard drive as well as the destination hard drive containing the same information and your cloning is complete. If you don't see both the source and destination drives, right-click your My Computer folder and select Manage. Under the Storage tab, click Disk Management. Locate your destination hard drive and right-click. Select Online and your letter drive will now be activated. As you can see, the EasyDoc 2 is very simple and straightforward to use, even for the everyday user. If you have further questions, you can go to our website at www.kingwin.com for more information. Thank you for watching and please look forward to more instructional videos to come.